often said that cur editorial curtaining are, are like that. When, you, when they get attacked, they are very often a barometer of democracy. And when they, when they get attacked, well, it's a bad sign for a free press, freedom of opinion, and for democracy in general. And, and if you look around, it, 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 it appears that, you know, the, the very macho rulers, the autocrats, well, they tend to have a very thin skin when it comes to humor and political cartoons. They can't, they can't bear that. They don't like it. And you know why? Because political satire is something they cannot control. And when you are an autocrat, you want to control the messaging, you want to control your image. And there is nothing worse for a dictator than to see himself as a, as a ridicule figure. Humor is cultural, and humor works in a perimeter with an audience, but then the image is universal. So editorial curtaining is at the crossing of both. It's using images, but it's, but it's using humor as well. So we are in, if, if, so we live in a world with, we live in an open world with closed minds, and, we, and there's no, no such thing as doing a cartoon on, on this table for your audience. Everything can be spread all over the internet. And everything can be seen by audiences that are not prepared and cannot understand some types of humor. So we are in for big misunderstandings. I think Charlie Hebdo was, was something like that. And there's no, you know what? There's no solution to that. 